Good evening everyone, I'm here today to provide a brief analysis of the recent actions and statements made by Louisiana Congressman Clay Higgins. His inflammatory remarks and history of controversial behavior have put him in the spotlight yet again. As we examine his rhetoric and political conduct, it's important to understand the broader implications these have for political discourse in America. Clay Higgins, a four-term representative for Louisiana's 3rd Congressional District, has a long history of inflammatory comments. A former police officer with a checkered past, he gained early notoriety for his aggressive and racially charged statements. Recently, he posted a highly offensive tweet about Haitian immigrants, which he later deleted following public backlash, even from some within his own party. Despite his apology and the House Speaker's comments about redemption, Higgins doubled down, asserting his right to free speech and vowing to continue posting controversial statements. This incident is part of a larger pattern in which Higgins promotes violent and divisive rhetoric. He has also openly fantasized about civil unrest and military action, frequently using coded language that appeals to extremist groups. Higgins' obsession with militarization and violence, along with his involvement in conspiracy theories, shows a deeply troubling approach to governance. Rather than focusing on constructive policymaking, his political career seems driven by a desire to incite fear and division. From promoting militia ideologies to perpetuating false narratives around January 6, Higgins is pushing boundaries that contribute to the dangerous escalation of political rhetoric in the U. As we reflect on Higgins' behavior, it's essential to consider the long-term impact such rhetoric has on public trust and democracy. Leaders who continually incite division weaken the foundation of responsible political discourse. Clay Higgins is just one example of how dangerous extremism can seep into mainstream politics. Thank you for your time, and let's continue to hold our representatives accountable for their actions.